Three residents of the Laurel Nursing Home have reflected on their new colleagues at the voting booths, and we wanted to get their thoughts. Chuck Wally, Edward Fijikawa, and Linda Caldwell said the world is a bit different from when they first cast a ballot. Our, our country is just in a different uh, condition, and it scares me. And at the age I am, you know, I think about my kids and my grandkids. Her grandkids are likely part of Generation Z, people ages 18 through 27, who can hit the polls in larger numbers than four years ago, with the youngest members now eligible to grab a voter ID. The generation now is so smart, they're, nothing's out of their reach. They can go for anything they want to go for. Fajikawa and Wally, perhaps like older generations looked at them, view the new voting block with skepticism. That's a little bit on the scary side, to tell you the truth, uh, because a lot of them don't really understand what's going on. Your generation is more of a free spirit type of a generation who really doesn't care what happens next. Fudgy Kaba believes Gen Z's, quote, free-spirited outlook on life can be a bad thing without a sense of direction. But the group does have advice for the youngest voting generation. Well, I think I have a, a, a goal in life, and you have to know where you're going, and you have to have some feeling about what you want to do. There comes a time when you have to make your own decision, and uh, you have to decide what's right or wrong. Sooner or later, their generation has to take over, so they have to learn, and the only way to learn is experience. Your generation is going to be um, uh, very influ influential on in what happens, and I think a lot of them are going for Harris. Whether silent generation, boomer, or Gen Z, all will have the opportunity to participate in democracy come November. Reporting for Gen Zers up to the ballot, I'm Reese Thompson in Athens.